Monsieur Homtzik, au nom du PPE. Monsieur Homtzik, vous avez la parole. Thank you, Madam President, and thanks um, for the rapporteurs for a thorough report with thorough um, observation on Georgia. It's a difficult place where Georgia lies, and I think this assembly owes Georgia at least one thing. Georgia and Russia fought a war, and Georgia finds itself with occupied territories, 20% of it territory. And I would like the rapporteurs in their answer to just give us some idea of the people in, especially South Ossetia, but also in Abkhazia, and their human rights, and the way they can actually get their rights. Because we do make a number of comments on the government, and rightfully, we also made quite a few comments on the last government. But especially those citizens have got severe troubles. And maybe you can um, not only say a few words, but also include it in your next report. Because that's what should be important for all those countries in that region, Georgia, but Azerbaijan and Armenia, to find a way of getting out of this monitoring procedure. Since they became member, they have been there, and not even a path is in the report of getting out of the monitoring procedure into the post-monitoring procedure. That is worrisome. That's really worrisome. I do applaud the Georgian politicians for not, like their neighbors, blaming the occupation of part of the territory and saying, oh, that's the reason we shouldn't make progress. So in the committee, obviously I'm not supposed to tell, but we talk about the real issues and we don't blame on foreign occupation that you don't make any progress at home, but the progress is slow. Having said that, I'd like to use the rest of my time as the former rapporteur on abuse of political justice of um, highlighting the extremely sensitive nature of prosecuting a former president. That, and especially since the fact that almost the whole former government can in a little while hold a cabinet meeting within a prison somewhere in Tbilisi, is quite worrisome because it raises the attention of not prosecuting a lot of crimes on the one side, and the other hand, prosecuting all your political opponents. Make sure that doesn't get a political decision. And just one or two comments there. The first comment, the fact that not only Mr. Saakashvili is held responsible, and rightfully he should answer, because there are things to which he should be held accountable. But the fact that his assets are frozen, and even the assets of his mother, including the car, is a very worrisome detail of a public prosecution just overstepping the bounds of where they should be. And I would like to invite the present Georgian authorities to keep on the good work and to stop taking um, political reasons for prosecuting and making sure it gets on a completely independent with public oversight from other people and maybe other nations. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President.